Tone Cure, Super Gold, JV Well, Dang It Kyle, I don't know if I'll ever be able to fix this thing. Oh, hi, I didn't notice you there. My buddy Kyle destroyed my plane, so looks like I'll be moving on to something else. Speaking of other things, let's talk about this FPV ground station. The larger antenna is a crosshair circular polarized antenna with a 10 dB gain, frequency range between 1200 and 1300 mhz. The blue beam antenna on top is a circular polarized antenna replacement for whip antennas tuned between 1.2 and 1.3 mhz. This will greatly increase your video range and clarity. Beneath the Bluebeam antenna, there is a 900 MHz high-pass filter, which is highly recommended to have if you're using a 433 MHz long-range system. The filter is installed between the antenna and your video receiver. On the rear plate of the Crosshair antenna, I'm using two R1200 1.2 high-sensity receivers from Lawmate. Both of the Lawmate receivers are ran into an Eagle Eyes FPV ground station. I'm using the diversity off of this station, but it has many more features. Two video inputs and four video outs to start. Telemetry, pan, tilt, more than I need, all sitting on top of a 70 inch tripod. Video feed one from the diversity is fed into the EasyCap USB converter going into the laptop. The video is then transferred onto the screen and recorded by secondary software. Video output 2 is fed into the Fat Shark video goggles where I watch a live feed and fly comfortably from the seat of my truck. On top of the Multiplex EasyStar, I've mounted a LawMate 1000 milliwatt video transmitter and paired it with one of the circularized omnidirectional antennas. On the nose, I've mounted the New Horizon HD camera version V2+. So now that my ground station is working properly, I know one person that I won't be letting next to this thing.